Leanne's has had a lot of history for me. Cause one here back in the day, and I remember I didn't qualify, and my coach was really upset with me. He's like, what are you doing? Because, you know, obviously I was skiing faster than that. So I walked through the whole town, you know, and I made it to the church and just sat in there and kind of re re recollected on what, I, what had gone down. And it's funny because I'm back here now and I'm staying, Racy's dad is from here and I'm staying at Racy's house and it's just a lot of history and I, I had my best result as a mother here so it's kind of a cool place for me to end and in Austria and you know we have a lot of Austrian friends and they're really into skiing and I just, I felt it was a good time you know a lot of the other races weren't as motivating for me and these were, and then yeah we, we went back into that church too so it was a full circle. Look at my video still, and I'm like, dang, I still ski so well. You know, I make really nice turns, but you know, that just the stress and the anxiety of racing every weekend and putting the pressure to perform, it's, it started taking its toll, and mentally I just don't, you know, I was struggling with it. I know it's weird in the middle of the season, and sometimes I, last night I couldn't sleep a week. I'm like, am I doing the right thing? I'm retiring now in the middle of the season, but. You know, I want to give Blossy my full attention right now, and we're over here in Europe we're planning on staying for the winter, and I just want to, like, ski with him as much as I can. It was starting to become really difficult with the family because of Blossy's age and just being, traveling, traveling and giving him opportunity, which is kind of the goal as a parent. As a racer, definitely my World Cup podiums. You know, the 30 GS in Semmering was awesome, and the slalom win in Lenzerheide, and just you know, just winning and being in the top 10. I, I was really consistent in the top 10 back before 2005. So, just being a contender at every race is always exciting, and then just doing the fight to come back and kind of believing in myself to as a mother to make it back and race against the young guns that those you know the journey of being a racer is really the greatest journey we have it's so many ups and downs and teaches you so much about life and i i hope i'm prepared for the other side it's, it's tough you know it's really i'm i'm pretty sad and I don't know what I'm going to do, so it's kind of this weird feeling. It's a really weird feeling to be where I am right now. I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been doing this since I was 11 years old. I'm 32 now, so... I mean, if you can imagine, it's like, whoa. But at the same time, I'm so excited, and I'm really looking forward to what the future holds.